So let's see what happens here. What's up? Alrighty. Huh. Well, it's definitely keepable. It's not my favorite, but it definitely has some things that are nice. Hmm. I do need I do need my special piece, which I always seem to be missing. I'm gonna maul you because there's too many lands. Okay. Four lands is too many for this deck. All right. Because you risk you risk you risk flooding. You wait too big of a risk of flooding out. And like this deck loses. This deck has a bigger. This deck. It loses to its own draws probably as often as it loses to like actual gameplay. So. Yep. 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 Like the, the the one of the biggest one of the biggest downsides of this deck is that you have no way you have no way to mitigate what you draw. True. So six. Yes. Sure. I'll scry. Okay. Bottom. Alrighty. So I'll start with. Um, and the scry will help decks like this too a lot. Yeah. I'm starting with Sea Crumb Ghost. Yes. I'm going to serve it. Yep. E1, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Yes, yeah. Two. Um, let's uh, drop our board. Alright. And pass. Cool. Since the bushwhacker coming. Burning Tree Emissary? Yep. Burning Tree Emissary? Oh, and this gets evolved. Yeah. Just wants to. Kelder Marauders. Okay. Now it gets evolved twice. And yeah, you can just take it up. It, yep. Yep. Hi. And you take one from that. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I did it already. Combat. Yeah. Three. Sixteen. Go ahead. Alrighty. Um, spend takes down. Um, that's very dangerous. Um, I can't guarantee I will live for that, so I kind of have to hold off on this for now. Uh, because, like I've learned before, if he's planning on winning this dirt next turn, I do have to keep things up, and it will likely be the death of me, unfortunately. But, um, it really stinks. Wish I didn't need both of these. The, the, the they're not necess necessary. Um, but yeah, um, I I sadly have to pass. All right, move a vanishing counter. Yep. I'll move to combat. Yep. Hit you for three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll have no effects. Alright, move the damage. Six. And... You could do that though, which may be a mistake on my path, but it's fine. I think I just pass here. Okay. So... Uh, one of my losses will resolve. I don't really see much of a purpose to, to playing that. Because okay. um, I might regret doing this. I want to overextend. You might have that. I'm going to fetch. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. This is like my only shot here. Yes. Um, hang on a moment. So I'm going to get my island. Five, five. 
find a You're not going to fetch shock and put your first on a three? No. That's totally ridiculous. It's just, what what difference could five and three life possibly make? You, you, you're kidding me. You're the red player and you never heard of Lightning Bolt? What's that to? That sounds awesome. Because it is awesome. Okay. Um, hang on. Um, yeah, I'm afraid if I do that. If I commit to this, he'll probably sit on it. So no more, none of these right now. He'll just sit on that. And I'm going to, uh, save it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not really what I had in mind. Because he, he, I'm pretty sure he's an angel's race in hand. Because otherwise, I don't see anything, anything else he could do right now. Yeah, Upkeep, this triggers. Take one. Four. With the draw. Yep. Go to combat. Yep. No oh, haze. So the double bolt kills me. Oh, okay. Prevent kills all me. combat damage. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yep. Hmm. So nothing I can do about that. Okay, move into second main phase. Yep. Or actually, no, I, I got it. Yeah. I fetch a mountain. Yeah, and triple bolt. Not quite. Or a bolt and other damage. Yep. Okay. Kill and, and, and bolt. Yeah, I had a bunch of prisms that I couldn't cast, and I really wanted to cast them, yep. and I thought that, that would have made a difference with my next card. This is a really underrated card, in my opinion. Yeah, Fun he's waters. pretty he's really good. And the reason, explain that, the reason you don't run Eidolons... Because the double red doesn't work with, with Burning Tree adding red-green. Okay, yeah, so if you ever think about running this deck. Um, this is another, across from me, is another very nice uh, aggressive deck. Um, if you uh, didn't have Goblin Guides, what would you run? If I didn't have Goblin Guides, I think it's still... You could still run without Goblin Guys. I mean, do so you mean if I have like the Nicodles and all and Curtis and everything? Yeah, oh, yeah. because I know the expensive card. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, well, there's um, see, there's that that um, the, some of the, like some of the people would think about Loam Lion. I, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't. I wouldn't run it though because I it probably just focus more on white. Mm -hmm. Loam Lion is white card ape. Or the other one is um, see that new that new uh, Landfall dude maybe possibly worth testing. The the, the one that could, the the, the leopard. That one, yeah. Leopards, yeah. Possibly worth possibly worth testing. Let's see, monster swift spear is not probably not great in this build because, but you can tweak it a little bit to, to run like a little bit more um like it, like non creature spells. Yeah, that's that seems pretty good. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think the um yeah because especially like I say my deck doesn't really have a whole lot of answers to staffing off all these attackers. I don't run anything like uh, Supreme Verdict, although that may be an interesting idea. I've never really seen Ad Nauseam run a board wipe. I'm not really sure why. Ooh. I guess it's meant just because they really want to focus on the combo deck. Like I said, this one was more focused on, um, like I ran the Mystical Teachings, which you saw a couple times, but I never got the chance to play just because the deck is really fast. Move. Um, Maybe they don't. They don't really run board wipes because they they consider like angels grace and, and like fogs to be their way of dealing with creatures. Possibly. The, the issue with that is that the deck doesn't have like um, multiple card draws in a sense, or like um, kind of like they don't have anything that really like they have like serum visions and ataxium probes, which um, if anything just get you a little deeper, but they're not really card advantage. Yep. Anyway. Um, well, I guess that'll do it for this uh, mashup. But thank you all so much for watching. We will hopefully be bringing you some more soon. And we look forward to next time.